So this is my Grizzly G0836, a.k.a. Um, the Sieg uh, X2.7. I think there's an SX2.7 that has uh, tapping buttons here, but this is essentially the same as the uh, the the uh, Sieg or the Little Machine Shop 5500. And um, one of the problems I have with this is this. Uh, this spindle wrench, um, these go up into those two holes up in there, and then you got to come all the way up here uh, with another wrench. Um, and you got to try to make sure that somehow you hold both wrenches with your hands, you know, that far apart. Uh, and then you hope your, um, your carbide doesn't fall down onto your vise and shatter into a million pieces, which has happened a, a bunch of times now. So what I did is I, um, I created this, uh, this little mechanism here. And if you look at it, when I twist this, uh, that engages these pins kind of like a camera shutter uh, and those pins engage with the uh, the spline spindle here and so you can tighten it loosen it do whatever you need to do and then when you're done um, you just flip it out of the way um, so I'll take this off here so you can see how this is constructed so I just have a couple eight millimeter pins or splines a little chamfer on there to fit into the the spline spindle and then there's a four millimeter ground pin that sits in here um, and then those pins ride in these 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 uh, slots here on this piece um, and then this piece just sits right down over here now right now when I when I tighten it in uh, it cams itself back out uh, depending on which way I turn it um, and I don't know that there's necessarily a way to prevent that by changing the way that they engage with the actual spline here, the spline spindle. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little spring activated catch. So as this, as this fully actuates, uh, a little lever pops up and keeps this from rotating back out. And then I have one handed operation on the, um, on the, uh, the draw bar here. And when you're done, you go ahead and flip it this way. It's out of the way. The pins are not engaged. Um, and this bolts right onto the existing, whoops, I don't know what that was. That was one of my pins. Um, this bolts right onto the existing uh, hole mount uh, where the, uh, the, the cap fits in. And I suppose that you could, you could print out a threaded uh, insert or you could somehow figure out how to, uh, yeah, you probably could do that. Uh, you could just... Uh, you could just have this sit on top of there if you wanted to, um, and then you have your, uh, you know, you have that little doohickey on that, that, that for safety that covers that up. So anyway, if you're interested in this, uh, let me know, leave a comment below. Um, I'm going to be working on another iteration and I'll probably get this posted up on Thingiverse at some point, but if you want a link to the, um, the drawings for this, uh, leave a comment below. Thanks.